Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can upload images of your client's space so you can use it as a backdrop for your designs. So if you like the idea of being able to create realistic room mockups like this or these designs right here, then keep watching and I'll show you where you can actually upload images of your client space and share a couple of tips that you can keep in mind just to enhance those overall images. Now, if you are not able to get great images of your client space, don't fret because there's actually another video within the video tutorial library where I'll show you step-by-step -step how to create an empty room rendering of your client space and then use that as the backdrop for your uh, realistic room mockups that you want to create using the mood board software. So you've got multiple ways that you can approach this. In this video, we're going to focus on how you would upload images of your client space and then how you can add them as backdrops. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into that. Now, if you do have images of your client space, what you want to do is you're going to open up the mood board software and you're going to go over to my library in your library. You're going to see that it's broken down into library project items and assets. So you can actually upload images of your client space into project items or into your assets. I'd actually recommend adding them to your assets because any images that you add here, they're not going to show in the product list down here when you share this design with your client. So it means that you can keep that product list clean so it's just focused on just the items that you're recommending to them. So go to assets, click the upload button, you're gonna select the file from your computer, and then once you have given the file a name, you can save it to your library and it's gonna show over here. Now if I drag this image out here, here's a possible image that you could be using. But um, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're taking pictures of your client space, don't shoot it on an angle like this. The reason I say that is because most of the products that you want to build into your room designs, they're going to be shot square on. So it's going to make it a lot harder for you to work with a room image that's on an angle than if you had that room shot square on. So whenever you're in your client space, what you want to do is you want to stand in the center of any of the walls and you're going to shoot directly across, then go to the other wall, stand in the center and shoot directly across. So if you want to have multiple angles of the space, then at least you can have them, but they're all going to be kind of squared up and it's going to make it easier for you to find products that will work within your designs. So I'd remove this one, but something like this, this might do the trick because it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's slightly on an angle, but it's definitely something that we can work with here. Now, one of the things that you'll want to keep in mind is that whenever you're uploading images to uh, your personal library, you want to make sure that the images that you're uploading are high quality images. If you upload a low quality image and it's very small, something that's like 200 by 300 pixels or 400 pixels, when you, when you actually scale this up, it's going to look very blurry. So you want to make sure that whatever you're adding to the system is actually going to give you a good output. So aim for something that's around 1600 by 1600 pixels. That should do the trick. But you can always scale up your room image to fill out the entire canvas. And if you wanted to, you can see how I've got a little space down here. If I wanted to, I could keep scaling it up so it fills the entire space. But just keep in mind that anything that extends beyond the edges of the mood board, that's essentially going to get cut off. So when you share this design with your client, they're not going to see anything over here or here. They're only going to see what's within the edges of the mood board. So you could choose to keep your design board or your empty room image fitting within that if you wanna have access to the full space, and then you can use this area down here as like a branded footer, or you can scale it up and just understand that a little portion of each side would get cut off if it's hanging outside of the mood board edges. Now, the next thing that I wanted to bring to your attention is that if it looks like some of the image is missing, like some of the white spots have been removed from your background image, you can always clean it up by going over to the background removal tool here. So just for a second here, I'm just gonna zoom in. You can see right here, it looks like a little portion of the image is missing. So if I wanted to clean that up, I would go to the background removal tool. I'm gonna to pull this toggle right here all the way to the left, and it's gonna fill in those uh, lost sections, and then I'll hit save. And then the other thing that I would bring to your attention here is that if you wanted to be able to just kind of adjust the image a bit, check out the image adjustment tools here because you can pump up the brightness or take it down if you need to. You could also look at adjusting contrast. If you felt like the room was a little bit grayed out, you wanted to punch it up. There's also a saturation option. So if you wanted to take out or add a little bit more color to it, you have the ability to do that as well. So you can play around with the image adjustment tools and see if you can get the image just right. 
Um, other than that, um, that, that's pretty much the steps. So if you've got great images, wonderful. Just keep in mind, you want to have images that are shot square on, you can add them to your mood board and then you can start layering your furniture on top. And if you don't have great images of your client space, check out the video tutorial library and click on the video that shows you how to create an empty room rendering for your client space that you can also bring into the mood board software so you can layer in all of your products. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out to us on the live chat. We're always happy to help.